WTF? Is that a shorthand for surprise and alarm? It, it's shock, shorthand for shock that this could have happened. You know, I think my shock was more to do with the fact that, my God, the test, it's been like, you know, how did they do that? I swear by almighty... Debbie Berger worked for Celatex, who made Grenfell's flammable insulation. Her shock was in 2014, three years before the fire, upon learning that the company manipulated a fire test using a thick panel made of cement to ensure it passed. What was it, you remember, that was so shocking about the presence of six millimetres? I, I didn't think Celatex would, would, would do this. I didn't think Celatex would... I thought Celatex was a good company. I thought Celatex was prided itself on doing the right thing, being honest. Mm. And I was really shocked by this. Do, you say do this, do what? Well, it, it appeared to me that Celatex had engineered, had taken some materials and installed them to pass the test. That occurred to you at the time, did it? Yes. Celatex insulation covered Grenfell Tower and helped spread the flames that killed 72 people. The inquiries heard how it marketed the insulation to say that it was safe to go on high-rise buildings when it wasn't. When I learnt this information, I was about three or four weeks into my new post. Um, I just, I didn't know what to do with it, if I'm honest with you. I, I, I wish it is a regret of mine now. There are many regrets that I've had. In hindsight, there are a number of things I wish I wish. I had done a lot differently. Thank you very the much. hearing continues on Monday. Rags Martel, ITV News, at the Grenfell Inquiry.